We are at Hard Schlock Stadium, home of the Krakens in Diami, Florida. A city where the temperature is over 100 and the IQ is in the low teens <laughs> at best. Then don't poke fun at the fans. They're loyal. Therapists call it delusional. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Cincinnati Bengals battle. The Diami Krakens. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> it's time to turn on, tune in, and get your mutant buzz on. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here. It's MFL game day, and you know what that means. Yeah, the town will be in flames tonight, and half the city's population will be sliding down greased street poles and eating all-you-can-eat horseshit buffets from the curb. Yes, victory can be bittersweet sometimes, Bricks. Let's see if the home team can light up this town like a Roman candle. And it's first and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, hey, yeah, Briggs, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. First and, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> First down in a mile. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. And that hit jars the ball loose, and it's a fumble. That's what happens when you hurdle and take a hard hit. And they needed that big run right there, Bricks. They sure fucking did, Grim. They sure fucking did. Third down and, well, good luck. You've got to catch that. Well, I want Sean Kick to make a kick like this with his extra leg. He used it like a golf club. That wasn't a leg, you moron. That was Tripod Jenkins. The one with and it's good! You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can't we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. First and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Maybe the 
QB should throw it and catch it too. Third down and long. And an eight yard gain on that one. Like when Brix's mom decided to move back in with us. If they don't pick it up here, they are giving a gift to the defense. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. Uh, I love the murder ball dirty trick. How uh, they take it to the air and pick up a fourth down conversion. I thought they were crazy to go for it. You know, they still might be bricks, but crazy works in the MFL sometimes. Other times, it just comes back with a shotgun. Quarterback's tight spirals, and he was still talking. He'd be saying, Psycho killer, Keska say, What the fu 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 fuck? First down and three. Dirt sandwich. First down and three. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. I've never seen a demon smile so much. He says his secret is that he's poisoned the mind of a thousand men. <laughs> Whatever works, I guess. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And it's first and ten. First and ten. I think the defenders are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right to be. Yeah, he's a murderer! First down and three. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. The ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, 
anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong Il. about a three-yard pickup. Second down and seven. point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. And we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. Ah, it's about time, Grim. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Second down and two. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And that'll bring up third and one. takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. The cross-stitching, unbelievable. He's got the... Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And I think the ginormous guy is compensating for. I don't remember calling 911, but the SWAT team is out in full force at the line of scrimmage. Nice play by the linemen. Second down and ten. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Third down and six. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot eight. Man, this guy just exploded into flames. Now the defense has to try to tackle a running bonfire. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Oh. 
Hey, man, I was keeping on schedule now. You know what happened? <laughs> Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. One, hot two, hot three. And he runs it for four yards. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Oh, man, the defense brought a sack lunch today. Hey, hey, don't eat him. Not until he's cooked. <laughs> don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. Let me tell you, getting shocked is no joke. I used to wear triple wolf socks, slide around on a shed topper for eight hours so I can shock my younger brother. I want to change the TV channel. He got blown across the room into the theater And it's first and ten. Defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> First and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Third down and, well, good luck. <laughs> Nicely done for a first down. And that takes us to the two-minute warning. And it's first and ten. Should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It's good. <laughs> the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. Hot one. Hot two. And that's a first. 
down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. I call that the honeymoon off. They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Rim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. One, two, one, three. target more often and they take their last time out it's between them and the clock now Grim. well and the defense too and it's first and ten hot one hot two comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Oh, look at this guy. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga. After. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Oh, with a punishing hit. And it's first. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just cock blocked the clock. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on NFL Game Day. Uh, it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Tom. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It, it means he can return it for... Oh, you know what? Never mind. Oh, he just got crushed. It's a tie game at the end of quarter two. The teams are deadlocked in a fierce struggle today. We'll be right back with today's halftime show brought to you by Monsatan Industries. Eat their delicious Franken food. Hey, during the half, can you pick me up a soil and beer? And they're taking the field for the second half, and we have got a tie score. Uh, speaking of tie, Grim, me and Hot Wanda, we want to try something different, so we tied each other up the other night. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. And the defense jumps offside. And in some leagues, you aren't even allowed to touch the QB. In the NFL, yeah. they have plays just for killing them. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, the funeral expenses, that is. And it's first and ten. They run it for a yard. Second 
down and nine. Talk about Butterfingers. He should have had that one. Third down and nine. I personally think that the ginormous guy is compensating for something. That ball was almost intercepted. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he's still. Oh, what a brutal hit! And it's first and ten. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Third down and ten. Second down and two. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. First and ten. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Second down and ten. the way to get the sticks moving he picks up five yards on that play third down and five and into the end zone for a touchdown once he got his hands on that pass he was off to the races Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Nice run for five yards. Second down and five. 
catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. hit that was and that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size because he just walked all over him and it's first and ten and they stack the line and he gets this bell run for a yard second down and nine heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. The offense is down to their last quarterback. If they lose him, they lose the game. Third down and nine. Perfect pass and a score! That, that's creepy, right? That's creepy. I'm not the only one who thinks that, right? Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! First and ten. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stop all over his opponents. I want to take a beast boost injection too. And uh, now that is weird side effects, Bricks. He hit that line the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. It appears that the ref just received a pair of very expensive alligator skin shoes. They need to put some cement shoes on them before this game slips away. I skin shoes, Grim. I heard, though, when you put them on, they feel just like chicken skin shoes. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> First down and forever. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. You can't keep a good mutant down. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third. We're tied up at the end of the third quarter. You can smell the excitement on the fans. I mean, literally, it is ripe in here. Man. Junior, was that you? Hey, blow me.
Maybe the QB should throw it and cap. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an awkward win. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And he's got a chance for a good return here. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Second down and two. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. He loves pain. First down. And it's first and ten. Catches it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. And that'll be second down and four. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. But that means he can wrap up the other half and save him. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self down, but he seems to have worked through it. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. When I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Wow, he took like a thousand volts of shock there. They did that to my Aunt Lizzie because she thought she was the reincarnation of Lizzie Borden, the ex -murderer. Did the shock treatment work? Well, after she killed four of the doctors and zapped her, they never bothered her again, so yeah, I... I guess it worked for her. Looks like a pack. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. Third down, and the punter is warming up. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Nice punt. Should move him back. Nice catch. And he turns on the afterburners. Oh, he probably thought it was an earthquake. I bet he wishes he was right. In between being digested, that is. First and ten. And he scores! point attempt straight through the uprights
When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. How do you like your defensive cooked? The ball carrier is saying, well done. Bang, baby, bang. And that'll be a first down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh? And it's first and ten. It's a brutal hit. Second down in a very lot. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. And it's first and ten. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They just be called... It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-step burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. They're going to be able to return this one. with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. First down! He hit that line the way a rolled up dollar bill sticking out of flimsy Lohan's nose. It's the quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And it's first and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. Well, that's two timeouts burned, and you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. And Lynn Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. Hey, timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stupsing time. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You got to make that catch. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage, and he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. You are dirty as a
Punch turn. And they line up for the extra point. for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. It's two-yard run before he stopped. First and ten. That's a gain of seven yards on the catch. Nicely done. We're deadlocked with a tie score at the end of the fourth, and that can mean only one thing. Stay tuned, because what the hell could be more important right now? Well, now that you mention it, Grim, I really need to hit the can. Breaks overtime is a war with some basic rules. The first touchdown wins the game, but if the team that receives the kickoff gets a field goal, then the other team is allowed a possession too. After that, whomever scores wins. Ah, uh, Grandma, I didn't understand any of that. Can you repeat it? Not a chance. And it's first and ten. Wrestling? And that'll be second down and four. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. First down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. First down and five. Snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! <laughs> Krakens lose on their home turf. Bricks, is there anything that could be more disappointing to a Diami fan? I don't know. Ever get a soggy hot dog bun with your hot dog? Soggy bun? That makes me sad. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. <laughs> Grim Blitro with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.